This giant herring supplied by my kayak fishing buddy, Joe, has been dry aging in the fridge for four days. I'm going to take the front third portion and I'm going to return the tail portion to Joel for consumption. You can see it's a very beautiful fleshed fish. First things first, we'll add salt and pepper, season with salt and pepper. Generously, both sides, and also into the gut cavity. The water has been steaming in the steamer for a while, so it's nice and hot. I just put the fish in there and uh, place some ginger, sliced ginger over the top. The lid goes back on and it steams away for about 8 minutes. And there it's done. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to make a sauce with light soy sauce. Dark soy sauce. Sesame oil. Chinese cooking wine. and water the sauce goes over the fish and then we garnish with chopped spring onions coriander sliced chili and then we're going to heat up some peanut oil until it's smoking hot. When it's smoking hot, we just pour it over the garnish and just let it sizzle away. And there you have it, steamed giant herring. So we normally just peel the skin and the scales off. And it's actually a very bony fish, but there is a technique whereby you can tease the flesh away and leave the bones stuck to the spine. And if you do it properly, you're going to end up with a boneless portion there. Add a bit of sauce, add a bit of garnish. Delicious. So that's uh, after I finished it, you left with the spine and the bones. So there you have it. Recipe for steamed giant herring. Thanks for the fish, Joel.